Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll walk through upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using the official ISO image. This method gives you a bit more control and can sometimes be a good alternative if the standard Windows Update option isn't appearing for you. So, if you're ready to experience Windows 11, let's get started. Open your preferred web browser on your Windows 10 PC. In the search bar, type Download Windows 11 and press Enter. Look for the official Microsoft download page in the search results. It should be from Microsoft.com. Click on it. Once on the Microsoft Windows 11 download page, scroll down until you find the section titled Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO or similar. Under this section, click the Select Download drop-down menu. Choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO. Then click the Download Now button. Next, you will be prompted to select the product language. Choose your preferred language from the drop-down. I'll select English United States and then click Confirm. Finally, a 64-bit download button will appear. Click this button to start downloading the Windows 11 ISO file. This is a large file, typically over 5 or 6 gigabytes, so the download time will depend on your internet connection speed. Please be patient while it downloads. Once the Windows 11 ISO file has finished downloading, open File Explorer and navigate to your Downloads folder or wherever you save the ISO. You should see the Windows 11 ISO file there. For easier access, you can drag and drop it onto your desktop if you like. Now, right-click on the Windows 11 ISO file. Select Mount. When you mount the ISO, Windows will create a virtual DVD drive containing all the Windows 11 installation files. This virtual drive will automatically open in File Explorer, or you can find it listed under This PC. Take note of the drive letter assigned to this mounted ISO. Now, for a slightly more advanced but often reliable way to initiate the upgrade, we'll use the command prompt. Click on your Start button, type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt in the search results and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, we first need to navigate to our mounted ISO drive. If the mounted ISO was assigned the drive letter E, for example, you would type E colon and press Enter. Replace E with whatever drive letter your mounted ISO received. Once you are inside the virtual drive's directory in the command prompt, type the following command carefully. Setup space forward slash product space server. So that's setup product server. Press Enter. This command tells the Windows setup to proceed with an upgrade that typically allows you to keep your files, settings, and apps similar to how a server upgrade might be handled. You might see a screen about getting updates. Let it do its thing or click Next. The wizard will check your PC and then display the license terms. And if you agree, click Accept. Crucially, this screen will show you what will be kept. It should say something like, keep personal files and apps, or keep personal files only. Since our goal for this specific demonstration is to upgrade while ensuring our personal documents are safe, and I've chosen keep personal files only, this means my documents, photos, and videos should be preserved, but I will need to reinstall my applications like OBS Studio, Microsoft Office, or any games after Windows 11 is installed. If you want to keep your applications and settings as well, you would select Keep Files, Settings and Apps if that option is available to you and selected by default. Carefully consider which option is best for your situation. For this video, I am proceeding with Keep Personal Files Only. Make your selection. Then click Next. The setup will then confirm your choices and might say, Ready to install. Double check that it reflects what you intended to keep. Once you've confirmed your choice on what to keep, click the Install button. Windows 11 will now begin the upgrade process. Your computer will copy files, 
install features and updates, and restart several times. Be patient and do not turn off your computer during this process. After the final restart, you should land on your new Windows 11 desktop with your files, settings, and most of your applications intact. I hope this tutorial made the upgrade process clear. Don't forget to subscribe to Passionate About Tech. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new Windows 11 experience.